What's up guys, Ashley here and I am back with another video and today we are going to be building a coffee table. Now this video is sponsored by 3M, so I hope you stick around and check it out. Let's do it. So the first thing that we're going to do to get this coffee table going is building the coffee table frame. Now I've already pre-cut wood pieces here for that frame, so we're gonna start to assemble it together. So here I'm just using pocket holes to be able to attach the wood pieces together so that we can create that square coffee table frame. All right guys, so I have drilled pocket holes into two sides of the coffee table on either ends. And now we're going to be using pocket hole screws to attach the bottom frame together. All right guys, so now that we have got the coffee table base all together, we are going on to the next step. So we are going to be adding these one by four trim pieces to the coffee table. But instead of adding them now, we're gonna go ahead and sand them down to make it a lot easier versus adding them to the coffee table base and then trying to sand later. So today we're gonna to be using some 3M clean sanding solutions. I have the 3M Extract Cubitron 2 Net Disc 710W. Now, as you can see here, I am just sanding down these one by four boards to make them nice and smooth with the NetDisc 710W. 3M abrasives are helping ensure that you get the right solutions and optimal sanding systems for your projects. The new 3M Extract Clean Sanding System is designed for a variety of surfaces. It enhances the quality of the finish so you can deliver the highest quality parts and products. Now when I'm sanding, I usually use different grits um, you know, in the process of sanding, so this is perfect for any project. Um, it includes 12 discs, and again, from 80 grit all the way up to 320, so check out this multi-pack they have. All right guys, everything is nice and sanded down, nice and smooth. So now we're going to cut the one by four pieces down to size and start attaching them to the coffee table base. Here I'm just using my modder saw to cut down those one by four boards. Now once those are all cut down to size, we're going to be attaching that to the coffee table. First I'm going to be applying some wood glue to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to use my brad nailer to secure it nicely in place. All right guys, so the coffee table base is coming out great. As you can see, this is going to be a humongous coffee table because I have a huge living room. So now that we have added the trim, next we are gonna be adding a little decorative feature to the coffee table, pole wrap. So let's get that added. To add a little decorative element to the coffee table, we are going to be adding pole wrap. All we have to do is cut it down to size and then we are going to attach it to the coffee table. Here I'm just using a higher 240 grit just to sand off these edges lightly. Now that that's all sanded down, we can start adding the pole wrap. All right, now that we have the pole wrap cut down the size, we are going to be attaching it to the base with some adhesive. Now with the pole rock paneling added in, we're gonna go around and fill all the nail holes so that we can sand this baby down and get it ready to go. Okay. 
Now that we have the base all finished, we're on to the tabletop. Here we're doing something super simple. We're just gonna frame out a piece of plywood with some one by threes to make it nice and sleek. I wanted a modern kind of feel for this coffee table, so this will give it that sleek look that we need. Once I attach the one by threes with brad nails, I'm gonna go back with some wood filler and fill those nail holes, and then I'm gonna give it a good sanding so that it's nice and smooth for stain. Before staining, I do add a little wood conditioner to get the wood ready, but after you put that wood conditioner on and let it sit for about 30 minutes, we're ready to stain. And are you ready to see the coffee table? guys so the coffee table is finished and it looks so amazing in my living room space if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and for more projects and tutorials check out handmade-haven.com all right guys later